Okay. Thanks again to all of the speakers uh, who gave keynotes, who gave speeches, um, all the lightning talks, the interns. It was an absolute pleasure to hear from all of you. Um, and really, you guys did a fantastic job. Uh, special shout out to Eleanor, our youngest member. She did a great job, so thank you for that. <laughs> And this all would not have been possible without our amazing local organizers. So I invite you all to help me in thanking the local organizers. If any of you are still not up on stage, please come up or stand up. But a big applause. <laughs> Thank you for that applause. Um, so much goes into planning, really, all the little details, and this team did a fantastic job um, from everything from making sure that everything started on time, that their, you know, the technical stuff went off without a hitch, to even getting us ice cream, like, incredible. So thank you guys, and... Uh, uh, I also would also like to thank uh, all the students, organizations that have been helping here. And you may have realized we had coffee all the time and the, all the machines and stuff was provided by AKK. We had a kitchen there to do the sandwiches for the picnic and to prepare all the other stuff. The mugs were from them. Um, other student organizations who helped us were of course obviously the Zetsin, where we were yesterday evening uh, for the beer event thing. And then also Asta, where we got a lot of material, like the button machine and stuff like that, which only enabled us to provide all the different services and small little details and make everything happen as is. And also a lot of thanks to the video team who did a great job in streaming everything. <laughs> It is very likely that we'll have every single talk online tonight already, uh, including the closing. So, good job. Fantastic. Um, and of course, um, thanks to everyone who helped uh, here on site with whatever it was, cleaning mugs, running errands, <laughs> chairing the sessions. You did a great good job, and it wouldn't be possible to do all this without all these volunteers just helping everywhere, front desks, all, this, all the things. Thank you so much. Well, thank you again. Um, this event also could not be possible without our sponsors. So special thanks to uh, Private Internet Access, Red Hat, and Google for uh, sponsoring this and for all of our other sponsors. We really thank y'all. So thank you.
the conference, the main conference is over, but I want to make sure that everybody here knows that we have boffs or birds of a feather flock together. Um, it is not in this uh, venue, so please do not show up here tomorrow. It's a little bit away. The venue information is online, so take a look at that. It's not at the same place where the schedule is, um, so just make sure to check both of those to make sure which room your boffs will be in. Um, I think there's still a little bit of space left, so in case you guys uh, need an extra room, you might want to talk to John, uh, to sorry, to Benjamin. Benjamin, or to any of the other organizers, just to make sure that the rooms are not uh, taken. Um, but check that out and see what interests you. Really quickly, uh, tomorrow there's one for cockpit games, docks, mess on. Uh, flat pack, diversity, engagement, and GTK. Um, so that's just to make sure you guys know. Um, they are usually from 8 a.m. to about uh, 6.30 p.m. So, what? Oh yeah, docs is all day, every day, so yeah. Um, and then the super exciting thing today that I get to do is announce next year's Guadic which is Manchester. And, <laughs> and Alberta's gonna come. Okay. Uh, we're gonna hear from the organizing team for next year. I didn't have a slide on it, so they're gonna show you slides uh, and take it away. So, first of all, this uh, the, the champion of the local team, unfortunately, this year is not here. The guy in the middle right there, uh, uh, the one with the orange t-shirt, that's Sam Thursfield. You probably know him already. Uh, he's been championing. I, uh, I live in London, and between uh, mostly him, myself, Javier, and some other people from the... Um, Manchester uh, local uh, GNOME slash open source scene. Uh, we've been trying to do this for about a, the last year. and uh, But yeah, Sam couldn't be here, and I wanted to make a, a bit of a yeah, reminder that he did a road trip from Manchester to Mongolia <laughs> and just arrived this week. So big applause to him. Uh, so... <laughs> And, oh, no, not this, sorry, uh, this, yeah. So I wanted to talk to you about, about Manchester. Um, I moved to Manchester in 2009 to work for CodeThink, and every time I told people who've never been there that I lived in Manchester, they have these prejudices about the city. Um, <laughs> whenever they think about the local music scene, or some of the most famous uh, uh, reminders of what it is. Uh, they think about this too. Um, but actually, Manchester is a beautiful city. Uh, I used to live in this neighborhood. This is Castlefield, right at the edge of the city center. Um, the canals. Um, um, this is spinning fields uh, at, at closer to the actual city center. Uh, great spaces. They do a lot of. Uh, especially in summer, because it's when you actually can get out of your place, um, <laughs> because it rains a lot. Uh, but summer's fine, mostly. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, they do a lot of like public, like, open air activities. Um, they have a, an open cinema where everybody in the city can go. They have free buses, and so you can ride across the whole city center without spending a penny. Um, this is... What? <laughs> this is um, uh, Manchester Piccadilly Gardens, is, is the actual city center. This is Alan Turing. Alan Turing used to teach at Manchester University. So they, they did, a, um, in Canal Street, they did a, um, a, a memorial 
for him. Um, and this is next to the main uh, Manchester University building where Brian Cox, the famous physicist, uh, teaches. Um, and so, yeah, there's also a really um, vivid uh, nightlife in Manchester. And it's no coincidence that there's a movie about the Manchester music scene in the 80s called 24-Hour Party People. So we'll have fun. There's plenty of beer. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about the venue. <coughs> uh, let me see. There we go. Right. This is the uh, Brooks Building in the Billy campus of Manchester Metropolitan University. Please do not confuse it with Manchester University because there's a bit of a uh, <laughs> competition there. Um, they've been super nice to us. Uh, they, gave, uh, they made a quote for, for um, that all the details are on the uh, bit that we placed. Uh, it's on the wiki page. Um, but they did a super competitive bid. They gave us a lot of stuff for free that they usually charge to other organizations. So they've been super supportive. We're really happy. We wouldn't have been able to put the bid together without him or uh, Marketing Manchester, uh, who is, uh, they are um, an organization that is part of the city council. And uh, other city councils around Manchester are part of as well. And they actually wrote the bid for us. They worked on the uh, uh, budget with Manchester Metropolitan University. Um, so yeah, this is the main entrance. Uh, this is the building from the inside. That there is like, will be like where the booths and the open space will be. So there'll be plenty of room for hacking and casual talking and hopefully ice cream too. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, there's a football pitch inside the venue. <laughs> so uh, Bastian. <laughs> There you go, yeah. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, that's the building. Uh, that's the area. It's not too far from the city center, actually. It's about, uh, it's uh, from Manchester Piccadilly Gardens. The, that's where, it's next to the train station. It's about a 10 minute bus ride uh, and 25 minute walk. Uh, so it's very central. This, uh, since the, this is the area where also Manchester University has their campus. So it's full of students, full of places to, to eat out. Um, what else? Right, Manchester is just one. It has uh, an international airport, one of the most important ones in, in the UK. And uh, it's, it's, quite, it's one hour away by bus from uh, Liverpool's airport, the John Lennon airport. <laughs> um, well, and, and we also have... Uh, half an hour away from the Peak District, which is one of the most beautiful national parks in England. Uh, it's not too far from where Alan lives. Um, well, what else am I missing? Uh, back to the slides. Right, oh, and for the uh, both days or workshop days, um, uh, Manchester Metropolitan University also has, uh, has like a digital innovation space uh, where they organize raspberry jams, uh, all sorts of open source and technology related uh, events. Uh, it's basically a space open for people to request and do their own self-organized stuff. So we, we're actually getting this for free. We're not paying for any of this afterwards and we can use it any way we want. And there is a 3D print, professional 3D printing lab at the venue. So I'm hoping we can organize something there as well. Um, am I missing something? Right. Uh, oh, the dates. Uh, it was the last uh, between the last uh, days of July and the first days of August. I don't quite remember. We. Yes. Yes. Uh, so the dates are uh, there. We want to book the place, like actually write a contract about the place as soon as possible, so that they, we will know the dates within months, hopefully. Uh, but uh, they're already set. We already have like an informal book in place, but we want to formalize it, basically. But it'll be last, last, last week, July, first week of August. Um, yeah, and thank you to Javier and Alan for their help as well. And yeah, Sam, if you're hearing me, thank you. <laughs> right. And just one last bit, uh, cold, cold thing. Uh, which are local to Manchester. They've been letting their, some of their employees be part of, their, of the uh, local team uh, on, on some of their work time. So I, will, I, will, I would also wanted to give them a uh, thank you. Um, 
and we're hoping to reach out to some of the local open source community, which is uh, quite vibrant. There's a place called MATLAB where people get together and whatnot. But uh, you'll know about it. I'll blog about it. <laughs> no, let's see. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you again. Okay, good. Okay, so basically this is on. Is this on? Okay, good. Uh, this is the end, but some of you may or may not know, tomorrow is actually GNOME's 19th birthday. So in order to celebrate, we have a very small cake out there, but we want you to take a picture blowing out the candle um, and yeah we'll do some publicity around it tomorrow so please like the stuff that you see on Facebook and Twitter please um, and then also we have a dinner tonight so please remember to come to that bring your badges uh, bring your badges so um, we will be meeting here at 730 or at and at a chat hotel um, so yeah, you can walk over to the venue. I don't know if it's up on the website, so it's best that you come here or each at, um, at 7.30. We're leaving right then, so don't come late. All right, and with that, thanks again for a great Guadec. See you next year. Yeah.